Hello friends, this is Ganesh Nayak. If you want to enroll for the CFA examination, you have to remember these pointers. The first, you have to give the exam in English. You should be ready to take the exam in English language. The second is that you need to have a valid international travel document. That means an international passport. Third, you have to pay the one-time enrollment fee plus the exam sitting fee, whichever level you're going. The third, a fourth and a very important point is that you have to agree to the professional code of conduct. Okay, there is a statement which you have to fill. There are a lot of questions which you have to agree to each of the points and then only you can go for the examination. And also you have to meet the CFA program's entrance criteria. A lot of students are only about aware about the first point out of these three points which I'm going to be talking about. The first point is that you have to have either a bachelor's degree or you have to be in a a second year or third year of your college degree plus you can also appear for the exam if you do not have a bachelor's degree or you're not a student and you have around 4000 hours of professional experience then also you can appear for the CFA examination plus if suppose you do not have a full-fledged 4000 hours of professional experience but your education plus your professional experience matches to 4000 hours then then also you can go for the examination okay so three points out of which most of the student in india they qualify for the first point and they are eligible to enter the cfa program but that is also an important criteria i hope this video is useful for your preparation if you like the content do subscribe to my channel and pass on this information to your friends for preparing for the examination